never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm the light cause I got you I have always been afraid of changes But you've shown me life is full of faces Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places But we were young and unaware Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you not a mermaid. She is a siren. In fact, she's a two-tailed siren. She, if you recall Greek mythology, the siren would lure the sailors to crash upon the rocks. So I think that it's fitting that she's sitting on rocks. it's unlikely that you own an automobile. So when you came to the house, a servant would take your horse and put him in the shade. So if you look through the 
archways of the stable, you can see a cottage beyond. That cottage is the gardener's cottage. It's one bedroom, one bath, a living room, a separate dining room, and a full kitchen. We do not show either of these two on the tour um, because they're available for rental on Airbnb. So you can go on Airbnb and look at the photographs, or you can book a stay and come stay here at the estate. Each one of them rents separately for $300 a night. shield he puts a rose because that is her favorite flower to even things out he needs to put up another shield on this side right balance is good and on that shield that's for himself and on that shield he puts an orange because that's where his wealth comes from and this lamp was supposed to be mounted out here but they decided to tuck it in so it wouldn't be swaying in all of the storms and when they tucked it in they covered up a shield with mr howie's initials on it I don't think he was too happy about that. So as I said, the front door and all of the doors on the first floor are made of pecky cypress. 
The front door is original. The stained glass is not church stained glass. It was blown right out on the front lawn. So it's more Coke bottle, 1920s Art Deco stained glass. So the design at the top is supposed to be the plumage of a peacock. Can you see? So if we look down at the floor, it is the same floor that's on the courtyard terrace outside. So our architect brings exterior things inside and we see it in the banister, the wrought iron banister as well as the ceiling. This is the color of the walls in the living room and in the dining room. That with those heavy velvet burgundy drapes all the way to the floor, it was very dark and medieval looking in here, very Italian and Spanish influence throughout. because it's not like you're going to throw it out because books are expensive. So this room is an optical illusion. Will you step forward? Thank you. If you bring down the archway, then when you come into the room, it looks of normal height. But actually, this is the shortest room in the entire house. If you bring down the ceiling, you save money on books. <laughs> A whole lot of money. But nobody realized. So you just walk through a safe. Mm, yeah, that's cool. It is so made by the York Safe and Lock Company oh. out of York, Pennsylvania. Now, what's happening in American history in 1925? Prohibition. Prohibition. It goes from 1920 until 1933. Now, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but Mr. Howie was a cigar smoking, card playing, drinking man, and the little thing like Prohibition was not going to stop him. money. Now, this room was used back then for the sole purpose of the storage of alcohol. Today, because we have many events at the mansion, many of which are weddings, this is very popular with the grooms. They have a little liquid carriage before the ceremony, right? So, uh, I say this is a subterranean room and not a basement because if you're from up north, it does not smell like a basement, does it? That's because we have fresh air coming in over there at that wall port and here and right behind you, sir, over there. Okay, so had she patented that? Okay, it's So this is the formal dining room. This is our third and final fireplace. And the interesting thing about it is that it is cement. And it is poured in relief to get a pattern. So they made a mold and they poured cement into it. And then it's been pieced together. You can see how it's pieced together on the sides. Now I'm going to be like Paul Harvey and tell you the rest of the story. The house is built in 1925. Mr. Howie dies in 1938. He's up in Umatilla at a business meeting and he has a heart attack. When he dies, he leaves his wife Grace and their two adopted daughters, Mary and Lois, living in the house. Lois, the younger of the two girls, dies three short years later. She had just graduated from high school and she was involved in a vehicle accident. The older daughter lives here until she gets They did not damage it at all. Right? 
the leaded doors are original to mm -hmm. the So, had this mansion been in Orlando, it would have been taken down to the studs. So, we're very fortunate that it was here in the Hills. So, uh, the back door is the servant's entrance to the house. There is a restroom back there as well. It is original to the house. Now, if you're building a house here in town at that time, you were using an outhouse and you were going out on back to pump water, okay? So the fact that we have a restroom just for the servants and it was original to the house is remarkable. It speaks to the quality of the man, right? How highly he thought of his serving staff. The one other thing that I want to show you in this room is the register box. Remember when you buzzed for a servant in the sunroom? Well, that's where it showed up that you wanted a servant to come. Um, it is not in working order right now. It's on that Sunday list. But the reset button is right down by the light switches. If you were invited over for afternoon tea, I mean, all of us would go into the dining room, but if it was just several ladies, Mrs. Howie would have afternoon tea with you up in her sitting room. This is the one time where she wouldn't come down to greet you. Servant would answer the front door, you'd be led in here to the foyer, and she would only come to the entrance of her sitting room. I mean, really, why should she come downstairs? She's perfectly framed yeah. in Italian marble, and she's standing on a not have breakfast with Mr. Howie. I mean, he gets up at the crack of dawn, trying to work while it's cool outside. In Mexico, he learns to take a siesta, right? And then he works again in the afternoon and the evening, or that's when he entertains. So she keeps more normal business hours. She has breakfast in this room, as well as afternoon tea. The dumbwaiter comes up here to deliver her food mm -hmm. to her, okay? The servants come up this day. Mega rich, okay? And so a design element that comes into place is the dome ceiling, okay? Because what they're saying is not only do I own the land below, but I'm so rich I own the sky above. Only one color to paint a dome ceiling, and that is sky blue. Mr. Howie goes one step further and he puts a crown around his sky. This his sky is heaven. Come on in. Look at the patio. Oh, yeah. That is so oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> so this room is the girls' playroom. Oh. <laughs> wow. It has the best light in the entire house. Yeah. Okay. From these three windows wow. facing oh, east, you could see the lake. Westward facing, we have an exterior porch. There is a Fresh Air Act enacted at the turn of the century, and I don't mean this century, I mean the previous century, probably to get children out of the coal mine. So first thing in the morning, children should have fresh air. So even though it's westward facing, they're only using it in the morning, because remember, we're not working on our tans. So the key thing is that they have French doors, and those French doors have screens. Pretty remarkable for the time. Now, the room does have a masculine feel to it, except for the dollhouse that I just acquired, because <clears throat> I think that it would be fitting to have a dollhouse in the room where the girls played, because I'm sure they had a dollhouse. Yeah, I would make that a bed. That, that's a good idea. <laughs> make that a bedroom. You haven't seen the rest of it yet. We haven't seen the rest of it yet. <laughs> bathroom is all of the tile is laid by hand. There's no sheets of tile yet, 
And that they would stop and make little flowers on the floor for the daughters is quite remarkable. Because, you know, we didn't do special things for children. I mean, the pendulum has swung the complete opposite direction, right? So this room sits above Mr. Howie's office. Okay? Now, there isn't a ladder in this room. I'm sure none of you noticed it. No. no, no. <laughs> oh, wow. That's because there's a turret up above us. Ooh. In 1926, Mr. Howie builds the citrus plant. It's the oldest continuously operating citrus plant in the state of Florida. It is still in operation today. They do not do public tours, but it is really neat. So why does he need a turret? He needs it to look out at the lake because one of his claims to fame is he's the first one to pasteurize fruit juice. We're not taking anything away from Liberty Pasture, but Mr. Howie needs to keep an eye on what's being shipped across the lake. Whole fruit and fruit juice is being ferried across because the rail never comes to Howie. Too complicated for the, with the lake system. So it, it's cheaper to ferry it across to Astatula for it to go from Astatula to Mount Dora, which is where it comes. Mr. Howie's bedroom. Okay. Now, just because they had separate bedrooms does not mean that there's marital discord. It is a sign of wealth. Okay? This is the room we use for brides to get ready. And the reason we use it is because there are two bathrooms. Mr. Howie's private bath. The interesting thing about his private bath is he has a tub and a separate shower. He has a closet in his bathroom and a closet here in the bedroom. The closet here in the bedroom is cedar lined, and he needs a cedar lined closet because his suits are made out of wool. Right. So um, the configuration of the furniture is for the blessed flow and pictures of the bride. But back in the day, there was a tapestry that hung on this wall and the bed sat here. So we never have the bed sit there because it covers up the window and we need windows for cross ventilation. This was Mr. Howie's side of the bed and I know that because this is where the wall safe is. Now, um, I told you that the 20-somethings were just daring each other to come into the haunted mansion. But if you tell enough people about it, eventually vandals find out about it, and it was vandalized. They came in, they worked very hard to get the steel safe door off. And when it fell, it hit the floor and put a hole in the floor because steel is very heavy. And it's the only damage to the original flooring in the entire house. Oh, look at that. Table. So we are going to go outside. That chair, yeah. too. Yes, isn't that neat? That is neat. So when I give tours to children, uh -huh. um, I have them count things. I give them a little notebook and have them count things. That's a one good of, idea. One of the things that they count is WHs. That is so sweet. I love it. Aww. So back in the day, you could see all the way to the lake from the front. Over here to the side were groves. Mr. Howie owns 60,000 acres of citrus from here all the way to Polk County. His experimental groves were over here. Um, and so, if he were working in the grove and he walked back, or if the chauffeur brought him back from surveying one of the 60,000 other acres, um, he's, he doesn't go through the kitchen door. I mean, that's for servants alone. He can't go through the front door in his grove clothes because remember, Mrs. Howie can see him and she'd have a conniption. So, our brilliant architect designs this exterior staircase so he can come right up from the porta a go into his bedroom, right into his bathroom, have a shower, because tubs are used for soaking, right, to cool down. Showers are used for getting clean. Get a shower, put on a wool suit, and be allowed to be in his own house.